In this short video, I'm going to show you some examples of where display ads run in Google Ads. So if you've uh, sort of migrated or upgraded from just doing Google search advertising, which is pretty straightforward, your ads run in Google search or they can run on search partners. Um, what about display ads? What does that really relate to? Long story short, display advertising in Google Ads is about getting your ads running on other websites and sometimes in mobile apps as well. And I'll explain more about that shortly. So for example, I've loaded up metservice.com. I've gone to the Christchurch page, metservice being a big weather website here in New Zealand, Christchurch being where I live. And I can see straight away on the page, here is an example of a Google display ad. This particular advertiser who's selling a sort of synthetic grass product, um, you know, like an artificial AstroTurf, this is a example of a Google display ad. You can see that because when I hover over that little information icon, it says ads by Google. So I'm being targeted on some basis, maybe because of my demographics or because of the interests that Google's sort of identified me as having and so on. It could be a remarketing ad as well. I, I don't actually remember. But basically, this is an example of a Google display ad. And you'll often see these Google display ads showing in sort of various contexts. Sometimes they look like this. This is an example of a responsive display ad from what I can tell. So that's uh, where you give Google a bunch of different sort of images and assets and logos and they, they build ads for you. Uh, or other times you might see kind of like a more specific looking ad banner. So uh, this Torpedo 7 one here, I don't actually believe this is a Google display ad because it's not got the ads by Google um, information icon on it, but that's an example of a, a clearly graphic design banner in effect. So that's where your um, ads might run on Google Display. So on other websites, it's not just MetService, of course, it can be basically any website that is a publisher of Google Ads when trying to generate revenue. So they could be opted into something like the Google AdSense network, which is the sort of publisher side, or even using a, a third party um, ad network that they all sort of buy into each other in the background. It's pretty complicated and complex, to be honest. But that is what you need to know about Google Display Advertising in the website context. The other thing to bear in mind is that your ads could also run in mobile apps. So this is something I've uh, blogged about or, or sort of recorded videos about in the past is a lot of advertisers don't realize their ads can run uh, by default in Google Apps when you run display advertising. And so you've got an app on your phone, like a game or a um, you know, news app or something like that, and you see the little ads that pop up, your ads can actually uh, show up depending on how your ad targeting is configured, and unless you've blocked your ads from running in mobile apps. And most of the time, those mobile app ad placements are not particularly good uh, because a lot of the clicks on app ads are inadvertent. Someone's playing a game or trying to use an app and they sort of fat finger the click or they give their phone to their kid to keep the kid entertained and then the kid's just clicking on everything, whether it's uh, the game or the ad, and you wind up incurring a cost for that. So that's something you wanna be aware of as well if you are doing display advertising. Now, what I'm gonna do quickly is show you how you'd actually check where your ads are running within Google Display so you can actually go and have a look at some of the placements that your ads might be showing on. So to show you quickly how you would check where your display ads are running, what I've done is I've gone into my testing Google Ads account. I've loaded up an old campaign that I was playing around with quite some time ago. And what I've done is the display campaign, it's got a few different ad groups, but let's just say at the campaign level, we wanted to understand where ads have been showing on the Google Display Network. What you would do is go to content and then you would go to placements and this placements tab will load up and you can click on this option here, see where your ads appeared. And this is going to show you where your ads showed. So this is actually going to give you a breakdown of where your ads have been showing on Google's display network. So you can see here, fandom.com. Uh, I don't know what that site is, to be honest. Cheapies.nz, that's like a discount site. Uh, you can see a whole load of different placements listed here. If you've got mobile app ads uh, enabled, I disabled them for this particular campaign using uh, the Google Ads editor. But if you hadn't uh, done that, you'll probably see reference to a type of placement called mobile app. And that's how you can check what sort of apps your ads are showing in as well. But basically use the placement uh, report to see where your ads showed. And then what you can do is actually go and review those placements and see if they look like they might be any good quality. So for example, something like Cheapies, I know is like a pretty well trusted website in uh, New Zealand, but I've never heard of fandom.com. So I could load it up and think, hey, does this look like a legitimate site? Does this look like a site I'd want my ad to appear on? And you can actually exclude the placement and block your ads from showing it in future if you don't want your ads there. So yeah, long story short, this is where ads show um, either on websites or apps. Typically, they can show on YouTube as well. So hopefully that's a helpful rundown of where display ads can appear in Google Ads and how 
uh, you can actually check where your display ads are showing up and then get a sense for whether your ads are running in quality placements or not. If you've got any questions on this topic, leave a comment below. I would love to help you out. Uh, so just give me a description of what your problem or challenge is and I'll respond as quickly as I can. If you found this video helpful, please like and please subscribe for more free Google Ads advice. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.